Okay, days, sales, and receivable. Uh, sometimes this is also called days, sales, outstanding, or DSO. This is a very important ratio, and frankly, one that um, tends to give people some troubles because there's a two-step calculation to it. The first step is we need to determine our one day's sales. Now, this problem already gives us one day sales, although I have no idea how they calculated it because it's, you can't do it using these numbers. I'm going to show you how we really do it, and then we'll just use their number so we come up with the right answer. One day sales is basically we take our total revenue, so our total revenue for the year, and divide it by 365, or we take a total revenue for a month and divide it by 30, or whatever, whatever that period is. So let's just pretend that when we do that calculation, it comes out to 3150. Uh, uh, so we get one day's sales. And then what we want to do is divide our average accounts receivable by the one day sales. So how do we get average accounts receivable? Oops, that's average inventory. Uh, not that one. Average accounts receivable. We, well, we take beginning accounts receivable plus ending and divide it by two. And right, beginning and ending, by the way, is 2006 is, 2006 is the beginning, 2007 is the ending. Uh, they just give it to us. So let's take the uh, 30,000 divided by 3150 and we get something like 9.52 days. Uh, what this means is we are collecting our accounts receivable about every 10 days. And this could be very good. I mean, most companies, you know, usually have payments within 30 days. And so if we're collecting our cash every 10 days, that is a very um, fast uh, method and, and, and um, something that's good because we're, what it means is we're getting that cash faster. We can buy more inventory. We can really accelerate our uh, operating cycle. Oh, and the answer is right there.